Welcome everyone to this video tutorial of Socrative, an excellent online classroom tool for a fun and effective assessment. I'm Jorge Perez from the Memorial High School Technology Committee in West New York, New Jersey, and I will show you all the possibilities that this amazing tool has to offer. Socrative enables you to quickly engage and assess students on any type of device and operating system during class. That means that we, teachers and students, can use Socrative through a Windows computer, a Mac, an iPhone, iPad, an Android smartphone, or even a Chromebook. Socrative shows you all the students' answers in real time and generate detailed reports of all the activities. On our left, we can see the teacher view, and on the right, we have the student view. If you already created an account, just enter your email and your password. If not, get a free account and register yourself. When you log in as a teacher, this is what you see. It's called the teacher dashboard. From here, you can start a quiz, uh, create a quick question that could be a multiple choice, true or false, or a short answer. You can also deliver um, a quiz in the form of a fun space race game or give an exit ticket at the end of your class. Today, I will only work on the most used tool that Socrative has to offer, quizzes. First thing to learn, how do you create a quiz in Socrative? Well, you go here to manage quizzes, Click on create quiz, you name your quiz, for example, quiz um, unit number two, and then start adding questions. Um, I will start with a multiple choice question, for example, uh, this week my ESL reading class has been working with an informational text called, uh, called uh, Air Explorers, where they learn about the Vikings, the Phoenicians, Marco Polo, Christopher Columbus, etc. So here's my first question. If you want to add more choices, just click on Add Answer, you see, there's no limit in the choices. Okay, as you see here, it says correct, so I have to check on the box next to the correct answer. This way Socrative knows the correct answer and it uses it to grade the quiz by itself. The correct answer in here is D. This symbol here means that you can add a picture to the question, making it more visual and maybe more understandable for the student. I previously downloaded some pictures to my computer, so just click on the plus sign to find the picture. Here is a picture of the Phoenicians. I open. You also have some formatting options, as you saw here, that you can make it bold, italics, underline it. You will see later in the student view how the question looks. Click on Save to store the question. And then I will start adding more, uh, one more multiple choice and a couple of true or false activities. When you finish adding your questions, go to the top and click on Save and Exit. Okay, when the quiz moment arrives, tell your students to go to Socrative.com or they can Google the, um, the word um, Socrative in the search bar. Select Socrative student and enter the teacher's room code. But where do we get this teacher's room code? Okay, well, when you register, um, Socrative gives you a random code, but you can customize it by clicking on Settings my profile and create an easy room name instead of a series of letters and numbers. In my case I put MHS Memorial High School and my last name Perez. Let's go back to the dashboard and select the quiz that we want to start. This is the quiz I just created with you. 
I click here and you have three options. The first is a student paste where they receive immediate right or wrong feedback. They answer questions in order and, and cannot skip or change their answers. Uh, the teacher always uh, is able is always able to monitor the progress via a live results table. The second one is a student paste student navigation. Um, here students have the ability to navigate the quiz their own way. Once they've completed the activity, they can submit their entire assessment. And of course, as a teacher, you're able to see the progress through the live results table. In teacher paste, you control the flow of questions. You are the one who sends the question at a time, but then you have to wait for all the students to answer it. In the meantime, faster students could get bored. That's why I always use the second option, student paste, student navigation. This is the one I usually use my, with my students because they can go back and recheck their answers. Below you have some additional settings. I never disable students' names. I usually randomize question order and I always randomize answer order. You don't want them to be looking at their neighbor's computer. It's the same quiz for everyone, but what is question number one for one student, it could be question number six for the other. Before clicking on start, I make sure that all students have joined my room. Believe me, you don't want them to put your room code where they're supposed to put their names. When they join my room, this is the message they get, waiting for your teacher to start an activity. Okay, now I can click on start. Right after I click on start, they have to enter their last name and first name. They click on done. And as you can see, um, in the teacher view, uh, you can see that John Rodriguez just joined your quiz and started it. As the students start answering the questions, you'll see the graded responses populate the, your live results table. Uh, the rows um, show each student's results and each column shows how the whole class is performing on that question. We have only one student here, just for the example. Uh, let's see what John Rodriguez is doing. Why did the Vikings set out to explore new regions? Let's answer that one as a wrong one. Next, as you can see, it's red. Red means wrong. Marco Polo was a trader with, and a great storyteller from Venice, Italy. True. Next, it's green. That means it's correct. So you can see in real time what the students are doing. When they're done, they have to click on Finish Quiz. They have to confirm that they're finished. And when all students are done, you have to finish the activity as a teacher. And right after you finish the activity, you have three options to populate a detailed report. You can get the report, just view the chart with the results, like in here, or you go directly to the dashboard again. I usually get the reports because I need uh, copies in case a, a student or a parent wants to, to see the, the student's um, test or quiz. Uh, you always get a whole class Excel. Uh, you always click on individual students PDF and I get a question specific PDF where you see um, in case you have to go back and go over a, a certain topic. You can get an email with a link with a report. You can link uh, Socrative to your Google Drive or you can download it. You download it, you get a zip uh, file with everything inside. Uh, this is uh, the Excel document that you get. Question by question, the student, the total scoring here. You also get a general uh, report from question by question. So in case you have to go over a certain topic that was difficult for them. And the student individual report. This is exactly what John Rodriguez did and what he got. You see, you don't have to grade anything here. That's the wrong answer. And these are the correct ones. You can always go back and add more questions edits. You can add more questions here. In the case of short answer, Socrative will not evaluate it because students will, will write sentences and paragraph in here. As you can see, Socrative is a versatile platform with many great features to support your unique teaching style. Sign up today for free at Socrative.com and come to our technology committee classes and help desk sessions to inquire about this 
and other online assessment tools. We're here to help you save time and visualize the student understanding. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up in the bottom there. If not, give it a favorite. Be creative and have fun.